and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Christina Sidham. And I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. Today is Tuesday, October 15th, 2013, and it is an E-Day here at North Penn High School. Do you know your North Penn chemistry teachers? Find out in this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome to this week's Brimbaugh Challenge. In honor of Spirit Week and Tie-Dye Day, here's today's question. Who was the North Penn teacher who started the chemistry Tie-Dye Day at the end of each year? The answer when we get back. Last Friday, Dr. Stephen Somkuti, a 1978 NPHS graduate and the 2013 North Penn Alumni Athletic Association Lifetime Achievement Hall of Fame inductee, spoke to the student body about his work and research with in vitro fertilization. Students had the opportunity to ask him questions in small sessions during the rest of the school day. On Saturday, the North Penn Alumni Athletic Association also inducted eight former athletes and coaches into its Hall of Fame on Saturday. The 2002 boys track team and 2003 football team were also inducted for being state championships, um, among other individuals. Well, we welcome all of our North Penn alumni inductees back to North Penn High School. Congratulations to all inductees for their outstanding achievements. On Saturday, the North Penn Marching Knights traveled to Upper Moreland High School to compete in the Calvacade of Bands competition. The Knights came away with a first place finish in their division and highest overall score out of 14 participating bands. They also received awards for highest overall music, percussion, and auxiliary. Congratulations and good luck to the Marching Knights at the state championships in Kutztown this weekend. Last Wednesday, the boys and girls cross country teams had their last league meet of the season. North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. Last Wednesday, the boys and girls cross country teams celebrated their senior nights in a meet against Central Bucks South and West. Underclassmen decorated the fences with posters of the senior runners. Top finishers for the boys team include Ryan Grace, Matt Ahem, and Ryan Tung. It's really been, we really have like become like a family, so it's going to be so we are not seeing everyone at 3 o'clock at the track every day. For the girls, Brianna Mangini, Ali Valenti, and Jenna Reimer finished at the top. Good luck to all runners at the upcoming conference championship. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. <laughs> North Penn School District teachers held their first faculty recital last Thursday. Students and parents came to see their teachers from all schools in the district. Performing a variety of music, the faculty looks forward to holding this event for years to come. Congratulations to these teachers for a successful first recital. Get ready to laugh in this week's I Know Funny. Good morning. I'm Mr. Wilson. It's time for the joke of the day. This morning's joke comes from Mr. Monero, so please bear with me. Why does everyone enjoy my shirt today? Because it's tie-dye for I'm Mr. Wilson. That was the joke of the day. Here to talk with Mr. Monero about this week's homecoming festivities are SGI Activities co-chairs Jonah Kim and Sam Lee. Mr. Monero. Thank you, Rebecca Rosenblatt. Good morning, North Penn. Jonah Kim, Sam Lee, welcome to the TV show. Glad Thank to you. be here. It's an honor to have you. The Tie-Dye Boys to my right here today are here to talk about SGA events for this week. Obviously, it's a big week at North Penn because it is homecoming week. So we have Spirit Week, and of course, we have the homecoming festivities and pep rally. Tell us a little bit about that. Exactly. Jonah Kim. So this week, we have a pretty full week uh, in store for all of you guys. So as you can see today, me and Sam are wearing our tie-dye. I don't really know what happened to Mr. Monero, but <laughs> that's OK. Um, Jonah, your phone's ringing. <laughs> Um, and then for this Thursday and Friday, for Thursday we have College Day, and then on Friday we have North Penn Day. Um, so Thursday, and then for Homecoming Thursday, we have an assembly where every, all the Homecoming Court members can be introduced. Um, the seniors will go down to assembly, and then all of you guys can watch it 
for juniors and sophomores can watch it on um, on your TVs or projectors of some sort. And then on Friday, <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday, um, we have our pep rally. Yeah. Sam, Power Puff, and also pregame party. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to talk about pregame party. Uh, Hope everyone bought their tickets because uh, sales are completely ended. They're final. Um, so basically, we're going to have a lot of stuff. We're going to have food by Moe's. Uh, we're going to have you know inflatable uh, obstacle course. Uh, we're going to have music. We're going to have a lot of games. Mm -hmm. um, so I hope everyone remembers to come out. And don't forget your ID. That's something that always okay. everyone forgets. Um, so. All right, good. And then 11-4, yeah. November 4th is? Is uh, it's the powder puff game, but uh, just as a little reminder to the players, there is a practice this Saturday and that next Saturday, 11 to 1. So do not forget. All right, thanks, guys. And last from the desk of Mr. Travers, he would like me to tell everybody this morning: if you are planning on going to college next year and you're having a hard time with the application process or the Common App, you can stop down to the College and Career Center and get a pass. Mr. Travers is hosting a College App Help session, ninth period Thursday, Audion. Back to the desk. Let's check in with Mr. Ramsey for the weekly word. Good morning. Welcome to the Weekly Word. I'm Mr. Ramsey. Well, here it is, Spirit Week. Today's tie-dye day, so it's nice to see all of you out there looking resplendent in your variegated, multicolored clothing. Uh, today's word is flamboyant. Among the meanings of that is brightly colored, vivid, brilliant, bold. It can also mean ostentatiously showy, kind of overly elaborate and ornate. It does kind of often have a connotation of, you know, it's a little too much, a little bit over the top, although not quite so strong as garish. Garish would kind of definitely be like, ooh, it's way too much. Flamboyant, a little closer to neutral. Anyway, I hope you enjoy all the flamboyant clothing out there today, and we'll see you next time on The Weekly Word. Tyler gets a visit from Uncle Al in this week's Stude Report. <sighs> Oh. Hmm, cookies. Oh. Hmm. Whoever made these, they bake the very best. Mom, Dad, you awake? Let's get this dude report theme song written. <sighs> It's me, your Uncle Al. Come on, oh, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you need a man up there, son. Well, I heard you got on homecoming court. Yeah. Homecoming court. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the population of five town homecoming. First up, we have Uncle Al. And please welcome Billy Joe Bob. And the winner is, who we love the most, Billy Joe Bob! Man, we don't like that Uncle Al. Ugh. Man, I hate that kid. Okay, so that's fine, but why are you here? I'm here to make you a winner. I may have gotten second, but that's not gonna happen to you. Now, as always for these occasions, proper attire is necessary. Looking good. Alright. Next up, we gotta make sure they are gentlemen. Tell me I look pretty. You look really pretty. Wow, you're a gentleman. Does uh, does my eye look all right? You look great. All right, now let's see your wave. Hello. Great. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Does my other eye look all right? You look like a million bucks, kid. <sighs> okay. All right, now let's see your walk. All right. How was that? Gee, that looked great. <laughs> Do I look okay? You look like a million bucks, pal. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, looks like they locked the field, son. Yeah. But you know what they can't do? What? 
Lock out our spirit. Cause it's spirit week at North Bend High School. Don't forget to participate in all the fun days planned. Like tie-dye day, where you wear your favorite tie-dye shirt. Or college day, where you wear your favorite college's shirt. Or North Bend Pride Day. So show some North Bend pride and participate in spirit week. Boy, will I. Yeah. All right, there's one more thing before you're ready. Go jump that fence. All right. Nice. All right, you're ready. High five. Yes. <laughs> Great work. Come on, buddy. Are you ever looking for a healthy snack after school? North Penn News reporter Adam Morrow has more. Max Nutrition is now operated by FBLA and located in the sports lobby. Our goal is to provide snacks for kids that are here after school, whether they're here for a club or for sports practice or anything like that, and they're hungry. So we can give them things that are a little bit more nutritious than a soda and a bag of chips. We'll have things like soft pretzels and different flavors of smoothies. Um, we have fluffer nutters and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and granola bars and protein bars, and the list just goes on and on. Um, our menu will change on a daily basis sometimes, depending on availability of the items, because we do want everything to be fresh. Knight's Nutrition is open every day from 2.15 to 4 p.m. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Adam. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Let's check in with Mr. Brumbaugh to find out this week's answer. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. Unfortunately, she's retired now, but Mrs. Barry Finnemeyer started the Chemistry Tie-Dye Day, which is celebrated at the end of each year with people being able to tie-dye their own shirts. See the one I got? I did that myself. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. The winner of this week's Brumball Challenge is Mr. Kigi in C125. Just a reminder that the pep rally will take place on Friday in the gym during ninth period to get everyone excited for the homecoming game against Penridge on Friday night. That's it for this edition of Mornings. I'm Christina Stidham. And I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. Have a psychedelic day, North Penn.